Unbelievable work, unbelievable expense, but you know we came with a with a project and an idea and a vision, and somehow we've managed to fluke it and get away with it. And you know I think one of the big things I wanted was I wanted the fighters to feel like they were involved in a major event. And I think when I told them that we were going to be doing an event in our back garden of the headquarters, I think people were a little bit sort of apprehensive. But I know they've been looking on social media, they've been seeing the setup. Everyone here today just just blown away with what we're going to see on Saturday. And I wanted to bring boxing back with a bang. You know, we're a major sport and we had to make a, a big impression. No, no, I've got to send a picture. I think, you know, when lockdown first started, it was a case of, you know, everybody would prefer to fight in a packed arena. But I think fighters started to realise, you know, I can't afford my, my career to stall. Some fighters haven't boxed yet in 2020. So this might be the only opportunity they get to box in 2020. And, you know, a lot of these fighters only get paid when they're fighting. So for them, you know, we saw a lot of fighters stand up and grab it. Other fighters that were a bit apprehensive at the start are now in and on board. And others are seeing this now this week saying, I want to be part of that, you know. So we hope this isn't the new norm. But what you're going to see on Saturday is something very different. And there's going to be a lot of people tuned in to see the start of fight camp where for the next four weeks, this will be the home of boxing. Just board of fractions, yeah, there, down there. I mean, we move the gate, they can move the gates up. Yeah. So we move them gates up. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, I think we've got three great cards, you know, starting this Saturday. But of course, Saturday, August 22nd is a massive night, you know, not just for matchroom for British boxing, but for world boxing, you know, Dillian White against Alexander Povetkin. And of course, as you said, the rematch of Casey Taylor against Delphine Bassoon. One of the best fights I've ever seen. Madison Square Garden, June 1st last year, 20,000 people on their feet. You know, many people believe Delphine Bassoon won that fight. And I think ever since we walked back to the change rooms, Katie Taylor's thought, I want to put that thought out of people's minds you know it was a close fight I believe I won but I'll do it again and I'll prove to you that I'm I'm the best so the undisputed lightweight title part of a huge night here on August 22nd.